Good evening. This is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, using the Node.js HTTP module and uh, like a file system module to create a simple web application which can submit a blog. Okay, and uh, we will save into uh, the server into a file. Okay, which is very simple. And uh, and by doing that, we can also see how to using vanilla Node.js API to do the routing. Okay, so here on day four, let me create a new folder called the intro. Okay, oh, it's better to rename as a blog. Why? Okay, here now I will create a new file called app.js. Inside of here, since we are using HTTP, we have to require this HTTP. And then file system, later on we are gonna use, we will require FS. And now next, we're using HTTP. You dot create a server. And here we have to give the callback function which asks for request response. And meanwhile, we will listen to uh, 3000. Okay. Any port number you want. And here we will have the first URL. How to get a URL using request. This object can have a URL attribute and it will give the URL after the port number, like a localhost 3000, which is after the port number gonna be the URL, which is the value this uh, constant URL, the variable hold. If the URL is equals equals this slash, we're gonna display the home page. Okay, and uh, how to display the home page? We will create a file called the index.html. Okay, then here we'll provide the form. So we are um, lazy, so I just go here. And then I put it here. here. So this is HTML. I don't want to go deep on this one. Okay, save our time. Here we will have a form. Action, suppose we are called uh, save. Okay method gonna use in post and uh, here we will have one called the text uh, okay uh, first block we can using h1 right and here and here then we write a form and also in the form text area and give a name is blog okay and here text area at the end we will give a button to submit our form right button uh, save okay and the type we have to use in submit okay and after we are done is when we click save it will make a post request to save so how we do now is else if The URL here is uh, save, okay, slash save. Then I will save, okay. So now the problem, now this part, I have to display this HTML, right? This part, I just uh, respond something which is uh, end, like uh, success, okay. This is a basic structure, so we go through the first part. If it's, uh, 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 we have to show if it's a slash, we have to show the HTML. How to do that? We can use in file system. Okay, file system dot create read stream. We read the file. Okay, what what's if you want to using the path? We can using the path require. Okay, and here we can using path dot join and using drrname 
and then we using what we using um, uh, index HTML, right? Then we're gonna pipe to response object, okay? Which eventually gonna display on the page. So now we are here. We go to the blog. And when we write the code, we write a little bit, then test, not until the end, okay? So blog, we're using not moon, app.js. When we're using not moon, it will automatically detect the change, then restart the server for us. So I don't need to manually, like shut down the server, restart. So we go here and type localhost 3000. And here, write your first blog. Here, we will test, save everything works and the only thing remaining is uh, here i didn't actually i didn't get the information right so here what we can do is uh, we can uh, grab every, all the information is in the request scope we can use in pipe okay fs dot create write post stream and we will put inside the current folder then we will give blog blog.txt. Okay, and let's start again. So here now we only have two file app.js and index.html. Now I go here, do one more time, and uh, uh, test save. Okay, what is uh, happened? through ever ah 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 the, I, I put it in the wrong place okay this one is re-encoding you can specify utf8 or what by default it should this is because of the text file it should work okay okay now start again and test one more time okay and uh, hello save and the success and you can see on our server side the blog.txt is created so what's being saved here the saved here is whatever which is in the request body okay when we make a request if the method when we make a request if the method is a post so all the information we um, input in the form gonna be put in the request body and what's gonna be in the in request body? It's gonna be a name and a value pair, exactly the same when we're using get, except the get is gonna put in the URL. But if we are using post, it's gonna be in the body. The reason here, or uh, here with a block, is because our text area, the value of the name attribute is a block. So this is gonna be the key. Okay, what's the value? It's gonna be whatever we typed, which is hello. So it's a key value pair. Okay. So this is the basic applications and show you how to do the routing. Okay. And uh, think about it. Now, if uh, our server has uh, more uh, route, more uh, features, suppose I want to have features to list all the blogs, I want to edit a blog, I want to uh, delete a blog. So what you're gonna do in this piece of code? That probably you already know. Because if I want to add a delete, then here I have to using else if the URL Yes, equal equals delete, right? Then we do something. And if it's, uh, we, we have to continue, right? Yeah, this is a good design. Is a good solution for this one? It's not a good solution. Because there is a basic principle which, uh, which what? Uh, basic principle which is uh, open for extension, close for modification. And if for application like this, every time I have to modify the existing application, then it's not a good design. Because every time you make the change, then you have to do the full test, which is you have to also test some the other piece of code which is already been already successful. 
um, being tested because you make a change on this piece. You have to test it here, you have to test it here, you have to test it here, which will cost, uh, um, uh, which is what? Uh, which is uh, kind of like uh, wasting your time. And uh, another thing, it's not easier for uh, refactor or maintenance, those kind of issues. So uh, the topic now is by you when we using vanilla, which means uh, only node JS APIs, it's really hard to do the routing, right? Because we have to have a lot of if else conditions here. And uh, in um, so using Node.js vanilla API to build a web application, which is uh, very tiring. And uh, that brings our next topic. So next topic, yes, we were using some framework to help us only needed to do the only need uh, help us to do those kind of thing. And we just need to focus on the business logic instead to do this kind of tiring stuff. Okay, and not uh, fancy or nitty stuff. Okay, so the next topic we were gonna start talking about express. So uh, this uh, video I'm making is just uh, mainly is to bring the next topic, which is the Express Framework, okay? So if you have any doubts or questions, you can leave a comment. And uh, thank you for watching your vid my video. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.